Hi, welcome to Evermentor YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to see a very good news to the IIT PhD aspirants. Why? Because uh, so many candidates are having the dream that to do the PhD in the uh, the famous institutes in India, that is uh, Indian Institute of uh, Technology. So based upon this one, recently here we got one article in the one some private uh, website. So it mentioned that all the IITs have more than the 10,000 PhD uh, seats are there with the institute fellowships. So which are going to give up to 45,000 rupees per month as a fellowship for doing the PhD. Fine. So regarding this one, we will discuss about in this uh, video guys. And uh, please share this video to your friends or colleagues who are uh, looking for the PhD in the IIT. So it will be the very much uh, helpful to them and very good motivative also. And uh, beyond, I mean, apart from this video, whatever the requirement you are looking for. So please mention your subject. Uh, for the recruitment or else for the admission in the comment section if I got the notification which is matching up with your subject then definitely I will come up in the next video so to get my next video as a notification subscribe the channel and then tap the bell icon and watch this video until the end to get the complete details regarding this topic and now while coming to the present content of the video in the still outlook uh, website here they mentioned that total intake so all IITs have more than the 10,000 PhD seats with Institute of Fellowships and this article released on July 29th, 2022. So actually coming to the PhDs uh, in IIT, not only in IIT, in the multiple universities or the institutions, uh, the PhD admission notification will be based upon the two types. One is a full time and second one is a part time. And in this uh, out of both these two, so I'm talking about the full time uh, PhD in this video. So coming to the full time PhD, we are having the different uh, categories are there like the self uh, financed and the government uh, uh, sponsored uh, PhD uh, seats. Okay. And the institute fellowships, all these things like this. So self sponsored means you need to pay the fee by yourself and the sponsored the, uh, sponsored means either it might be the government sponsored like the UGC net JRF or the CSIR net JRF or else if any candidates are working in the R&D departments of the some other some any organization so they will uh, provide the financial assistance to do the phd in the iits so like this one coming to the institute fellowship phd seats means uh, the iit will give you some of the teaching assistantship work okay or else uh, something work they will uh, make you do and uh, so with the help of this work they are going to pay the institute fellowship to do the phd okay so under this category total 10000 phd vacant seats more than this one every year will announce from the iits that means the candidates who are looking for the phd admissions in the iit so if you uh, properly make your sop that is a statement of purpose and if you are very sound in your basic knowledge of your research uh, area as well as the research topics okay if you are if you are clear about this one then it is a very good uh, opportunity will be having to get the seat in the phd i mean institute fellowship phd seat in the iit why because more number of uh, annual uh, i mean more than 10000 uh, phd vacant seats you will get under the institute fellowship so it will be the very good news guys why because uh, the people will think that uh, iits will be having the very less number of uh, phd intake will be there Okay, so it will be very difficult to get the seat. All these uh, things are there. Most of the candidates will feel like that. So, so, so uh, from this video, please try to think that we are having the more enough uh, institute fellowship PhD seats are in the in in all the IITs. So, if you perfectly aim okay to the to do the PhD in IIT with a very good research proposal and very good research problem, okay, then uh, definitely you will get in the uh, PhD in the IITs, guys. So in India, there are 23 IITs are there and these Institute of National Importance are a dream destination for doing the B.Tech or M.Tech or the Ph.D. and other courses also. So IIT students pursuing the Ph.D. are entitled to a monthly stipend of ranging from 31,000 to 45,000 rupees with additional benefits also will get. So these fellowships are pro popularly known as a institute fellowships as per the norms of Ministry of Education. Right. And the recently the Minister of State for the Ministry of Education Dr. Subhash Sarkar, while answering the question on the annual permitted strength of the PhD program at each in Institute of uh, Technology during the 2021, along with their category wise institute funded, he informed that annual permitted strength of the PhD program is fixed for an academic year, while it is not fixed, uh, keeps rolling in the others. That means few IITs will fix their PhD vacant seats annual academic year, and few IITs will based upon their rolling advertisement. Okay. So here, individual IIT wise, how much intake they will take okay, under the institute funded guys, under the institute funded. So let's have a look here. 
IIT Delhi 3144 okay so it is the highest one and IIT Kanpur 1648 and IIT Karakpur there is no fixed uh, strength here so based upon their uh, rules and regulations they will take and IIT Bombay 431 IIT Madras 400 IIT Guwahati 535 and IIT Roorkee 1642 IIT Bhuvaneswar 170 Ropar 68 and Patna 338 and IIT Hyderabad 120 and Jodhpur 385, Gandhinagar 237, Bhuvaneswar uh, 43 and uh, Indore 20 and IIT Mandi 158 and IIT Jambu there is no fixed strength here and IIT Bilai 20, Goa 11 and IIT Palakkad 42, Darwad 58, Tirupati 72 and Danband 253. So total 9795. So including this IIT Jammu okay, and IIT Karakpur you will get more than 10,000 also. So these are all the number of sanctioned vacancies under the institute funded or the institute fellowship. So huge number of vacancies will be available each and every year. Guys. So if you properly aim to get the PhD admission in the IIT with sound uh, statement of purpose and with sound knowledge in the basics of your research area, then definitely you will get. Okay. So that's why I'm sincerely requesting you that try to do the PhD in the either a research institutes or else in the IITs or the NITs okay so why because in future also you will be having the wonderful opportunities if you do the PhD in the research institutes as well as this type of IITs or the NITs okay okay guys so all the best to the PhD aspirants in IIT with institute fellowships guys fine so please share this video or to your friends or colleagues it will be the wonderful opportunity and uh, thank you very much for watching this video guys thank you